Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of plant cycle. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 6. The diagram shows how some gardeners will attach wooden poles to a young plant when it is being planted into the ground. Now, the poles are removed after a few weeks. Now, based on the diagram, why does the young plant need to be attached to the wooden poles when it is being planted into the ground? Now, whenever we see plants with wooden poles, we must ask ourselves, what kind of plants need a wooden pole to keep itself upright? Are they plants with weak stems or strong stems? Yes, it's usually plants with weak stems. Ah, I know what some of you must be thinking. Since this question is asking, why does the plant need to be attached to the wooden poles, you would think that, oh, it must be because this plant has a weak stem. So the answer should be option one. But is that true? Think about it. How does the plant with a weak stem use the wooden pole to keep itself upright? First of all, what will we observe about the plant with the weak stem? Now, if this is the wooden pole, we would observe that the stem of the plant would actually grow around the wooden pole, just like what I have drawn out in purple. However, do we observe this in the diagram? No, the stem of this plant does not grow around the wooden pole. Therefore, what can we conclude about this plant? Does this plant have a weak or a strong stem? Yes, we can tell that this plant has a strong stem. So immediately, we can cross out option 1. Then, why does the young plant need to be attached to the wooden pole? To answer this, let's spot the difference between the plants before and after a few weeks. Now, what is the difference between the two plants? We can see that the difference lies in the length of the roots. Now, let's take a look at the plant on the left. Now, the plant with the wooden poles, does it have shorter or longer roots? Yes, we can see that the plant has shorter roots. Okay, and let's recall, what are the function of the roots? The roots help to absorb water and also anchor the plant firmly to the ground. So, if this plant has shorter roots, do you think the roots are able to anchor the plant firmly to the ground? The answer is no. So, let's write that down. With shorter roots, the roots cannot anchor the plant firmly to the ground. And that is why the plant needs the wooden poles so that it can be kept upright. Now, if the roots cannot anchor the plant firmly to the ground, what do you think would happen when we remove the wooden poles? Yes, the plant would then be uprooted and it would simply topple over. Now, once the plant has toppled over, do you think that the roots can still absorb water? No, right? And as a result, the plant would eventually die. So what do the wooden poles help to do? We can write down that the wooden poles actually help to prevent the plant from being uprooted. Now, after a few weeks, why are we then able to remove the wooden poles? Now, let's take a look at the roots of the plant now. Are they longer or shorter? Yes, we can see that they have longer roots. Now, when the plant has longer roots, do you think that the roots are now able to anchor the plant firmly to the ground? Yes, so let's write that down. Longer roots means that the plant can be anchored firmly to the ground. So with this understanding, let's take a look at option two. It says that the roots are unable to anchor it firmly to the ground yet. Now, is this true? Yes, therefore, the answer should be option 2. But let's take a look at the remaining options just to be sure. Now, let's look at option 3. 
The poles help to transport more water to the leaves for photosynthesis. Now, is that true? Do the wooden poles help to transport water? No, right? In fact, which part of the plant helps to transport water? It is actually the water-carrying tubes that are found in the stem. So immediately, option 3 is false. Now let's look at option 4. The stem needs a support to grow upwards to reach for more sunlight. Now let's recall, what kind of plants require a support? Is it plants with weak stems or strong stems? Yes, it is plants with weak stems. But remember, does this plant have a strong or weak stem? Yes, this plant has a strong stem. So does the stem need a support? No, okay, it does not need a support. Therefore, 4 is out and the correct answer should be 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!